Today, when we say the word dot, it's almost exclusively when we tell people our email or a web address. In reality, a dot is a dot, not a period, but a little bump, which really isn't a part of the alphabet or punctuation. There is one place where dots totally rule, and it's not in your email, but it is in Braille. This sleek watch is revolutionizing the way blind or low-sighted people tell time. It's called the Dot Watch, and it was created by Eric Kim, whose fascination with the Silicon Valley and entrepreneurship led him to explore the idea of invention. But it started with a simple meeting in Seattle years ago. Eric told me all about it from his headquarters in South Korea. Hi, Eric. Thank you for joining us on Innovation Nation. Hello, Mo. Thanks for having me. Can you tell us what your smart watch does? Our watch is a Braille smartwatch. It has a Braille on the surface. So whenever you get messages or you read time or when you want to read weather on your smartwatch, you read in Braille format. So actually blind people can access it with their finger. What inspired the idea for it? When I was studying in the University of Washington in Seattle, I met one blind woman and at the time she was reading this giant refreshable braille display like a computer for the blind people. It was so expensive, like $5,000. So um, I was very curious. That curiosity led Eric to research the market and he discovered that the price for this technology hadn't changed in about 20 years. Why create a watch? Well, when we researched about this market, we realized that most of the blind people use smartphones in their daily life. But they use the smartphone in very limited format, only sound. So we wanted to create some wearable device, and the smartwatch format was the best format that we can bring to the market and make a big value for the blind people. They settled on using a special magnet to move and control the components on the watch. Just connect the watch to the company's app on your smartphone via Bluetooth. Through the watch's tactile mode, users can also learn to read Braille, a feature especially useful for those who go blind later in life. Well, Eric, it's been a pleasure having you on our show. Thank you, Mo. It was an honor for me.